Jasmine Allen here with your daily COVID-19 update for the Mohawk Valley. In Tuesday's report, Oneida County confirmed 23 new positive cases of coronavirus. This brings the total to 1,914. There were no new COVID-19 related fatalities. The total number of deaths still 111. 225 cases are active. 18 patients are hospitalized, five of which are nursing home residents and 1,570 78 cases are resolved. The coronavirus briefing with Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacenti and the Oneida County Health Department is scheduled for 3 p.m. and that will be streaming live right here on our website cnyhomepage.com. In Tuesday's update, the Herkimer County Government Facebook page reported five new positive cases of coronavirus. Their total now at 229. 30 cases are active, two patients are hospitalized, four people have passed away, and 195 patients have recovered. Also on Tuesday, the Otsego County Department of Health confirmed one new positive case of coronavirus with their total reaching 93. Four patients are currently hospitalized, three of which are in the intensive care unit. Five people have passed away and 93 patients have recovered. Yesterday, Governor Cuomo said that 10 additional states now meet the metrics required for the travel advisory. So that full list of states now includes Alaska, Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, that is, Idaho, Indiana, Kansas, Louisiana, Maryland, Missouri, Mississippi, Montana, North Carolina, North Dakota, Nebraska, New Mexico, Nevada, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Washington, and Wisconsin. If you visited any of those states and re-enter New York, then you must quarantine for 14 days. Cuomo said, quote, as infection rates increase in 41 other states, our numbers continue to steadily decline thanks to the hard work of New Yorkers and our incremental data-driven opening. Yesterday, we had our lowest death toll since the pandemic began with no fatalities in New York City. While today's numbers are encouraging, we must remain vigilant, end quote. The next daily briefing will be Thursday, July 23rd, right here on our website, cnyhomepage.com.